So here we go yet again. We have another actor from the Rings of Power coming out and trying to insert their identity politics into their character and into the Lord of the Rings. Why? Because all they do is insert their identity politics into anything they touch. They are literally, their entire personality, I should say, and their entire being as a person revolves around their race. It is really just a sad excuse for an existence. But of course, this is where we're at. Originally, we had Princess Disa, whoever the fuck her name is. I think it's Sophia. I don't even, I'm telling you, I don't even want to bother remembering her name. She was the first one to come out and basically make it all about race and push it nonstop. Then you had Guy Ladriel coming out and honestly just trying to pretend like she's some sort of white savior because she feels like she owns these minorities. She came out and tried to say, well, if you have any issue with my uh, black or, or dark skin or whatever the case may be, castmates, then you can get off her show. And then now to top it all off, we have Ismael Cruz Cordova, a.k.a. Don Lemon the Elf. He's coming out and saying, oh, well, now there's a officially no longer going to be a time where you can say that there is no elves of color what the fuck is an elf of color <laughs> like what is an elf of color what is an el please what is an elf of color bro oh my god these people uh these people literally live in like victimhood they live in identity politics this is all they know this is all they do and we're gonna get into it guys so of course before we do if you're new here consider hitting that subscribe button guys i would greatly appreciate it. don't forget to like the video comment let me know if you thought it's a story and let's get into the video guys <laughs> All right, guys, before we get into today's story, I have a huge announcement, so please listen up. This Saturday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, guys, this Saturday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, if you are a fan of my videos, if you are a fan of my channel, I am going to do my first ever live stream that's really going to be legit. It's going to be an episodic format. We are going to do it, and we're going to do it right, guys. Now, of course, it's my first live stream. It's not going to be perfect, but we're going to have some fun. We're going to discuss a lot of different topics, and we're just going to have a good time. So I really hope that you guys would all come out and support me the best way you can. And if you do happen to miss a live stream, consider watching the recap or whatever the case may be. I will upload the recap in past live streams streams in the playlist so don't forget to check that out now we're gonna get into it so it says ismael C cruz cordova promotes the lord of the rings the rings of power with identity politics and says there will no longer be a time where you can say there are no elves of color wow so stunning and brave of you sir for you to be the first elf of color gee i wonder why you were the first elf of color don lemon could it be because there's actually no elf of color and you just want to basically insert your bullshit into a show that you got hired for to check off a box could that be what it is and the crazy thing is you know I'm a Hispanic person myself, and I look at people like this, and I'm like, seriously, this is the best you can come up with? This is the best you can say? This is the best that you can present about your character? Oh, your darker skin? Really? That's the best you had to offer? No wonder people are making fun of you and saying you're a Don Lemon elf. Like, it, it's ridiculous. It says, Lord of the Rings and Rings of Power actor Ismael Cruz Cordova took to the red carpet at the show's premiere to promote it with divisive identity politics rhetoric. Wow, that's, that's honestly the best way I could put it. Uh, close out the video there. <laughs> it says, Cordova spoke with the Associated Press, where he told the outlet there would no longer be a time where you can say there are no elves of color. So we erased that one, you know? Yeah, you also erased a lot of things, to be honest with you. And you know what else is funny? It takes you being made up in order for you to erase something that wasn't made up. Like, there, there was no elves of color in, in The Lord of the Rings. And you had to become this diversity hire. You made up this fucking fake character. And now you're trying to erase something that actually existed because it goes against your beliefs. Like, that's kind of ridiculous. Like, you're trying to insert your identity politics into something that was written so long ago that had a beginning, a middle, and an end. There is no changing it. And you decided to want to change it because of reasons like it's ridiculous he added this conversation would never be there no i'm an elf no you're not an elf the next person that comes after me won't have to talk about this that's what it means to me 
Well, they didn't. They won't have to talk about it because there's no reason to talk about it. When you do an adaptation, you follow the adaptation as much as you possibly can, not deviate away from it completely and then try to say that it's the same thing. You guys are being ridiculous. Like this whole this whole elf of color thing or people of color thing with the dwarves, with Disa and with the elves. You guys look stupid. You really look stupid. Like you you are only talking about your skin color, and it's amazing because you want us pretend like this is pro like progressiveness. Like you want to pretend like this is progress. This is not progress at all like you are literally just a diversity hire your entire position your entire character is going to have an asterisk next to its name isn't that pathetic like is, you're literally going to have an asterisk next to his name because you were only designed to check off the box for amazon to say hey we had a very diverse lord of the rings look at us we're amazing that's all it was for and it's sad because you could have been so much more but instead you decided to just be the diversity hire that's what you wanted to be it says, I always say that if you can see it, you can imagine it. Then if you can imagine it, you can create it, he concluded. It says, not only did Cordova decide to market the series via identity politics, but it appears he forgot what the word imagination actually means. Here's a reminder. The faculty or action of forming new ideas or images or concepts of external objects not present to the senses. Given sight is a sense one does not need to see something in order to imagine it. This is a fact that Cordova himself does indeed know as he blew up this entire line of faulty logic he's now engaging in a previous interview about the series. I think the funniest thing out of all this is that these people really think that they're creating something special. Like they really think that they're actually creating something. You're not creating anything. You're, you're literally making it up and you're using the lore of Tolkien as like inspiration. But at the end of the day, you're not really like you're not really doing anything. Let's be real. Like these people, they, they can't really create anything. This is why they can only adapt certain projects and then they end up destroying the projects after they realize like oh well we just wanted a, an excuse to insert our identity politics we have a quota we have to meet for our entertainment and that quota is only going to be fulfilled if we start making up characters that didn't exist in the first place and this is exactly what they're doing he says he told Entertainment Weekly that he wanted to be an elf since he was a little kid. In fact EW details that Cordova recalled pretending to be an elf and using an imaginary bow. EW's Devin Kogan wrote, The Puerto Rican actor says he wanted to be an elf since I was a little kid, and he remembers jumping around as a child, aiming an imaginary bow. So clearly he didn't need to see something in order to imagine it. Bizarre that he's now claiming in order to imagine something you have to see it. It's almost like he's been told to push the identity politics to promote the show, which looks like an utter disaster from the outside. This is something we talk about all the time. This whole modern take about, oh, I need to see myself. I have to see my skin color in order, in order to feel a connection with the character. Otherwise, it's impossible for us to connect with it. That is such a bullshit modern take. That is not the truth whatsoever. There's no fucking way you can tell me that you have to see someone look exactly like you on screen in order for you to have any connection to the character whatsoever. Otherwise, you're going to completely ignore it. That is a bullshit, okay? Like I told the story before, one of my favorite shows growing up when I was a kid was Biker Mice from Mars, okay? If anybody knows Biker Mice from Mars, you would obviously know that there's no fucking way I can relate to them in any sort of way whatsoever. But that cartoon was awesome, and I always thought of myself on the bikes with them, imagining it and everything like that. So I didn't need to see myself in order to do that. A lot of people don't have to, and this actor just proved with another interview that he also didn't have to do that. He also didn't have to see himself in order to imagine himself being an elf. So that whole idea just goes out the window. It says, on top of Cordova's comments, Benjamin Walker, who plays Gilgalad in the Prime Video series, relayed that the show took an, a reinvestment in the source material. Yeah, sure you did. He went on to explain what that means is that we went to his writing and allowed that to inspire all new avenues for the show. That it allowed us for some artistic freedom. Oh, that's, that's really taking it far. Artistic freedom? I would dare say complete freedom because you are not following the books whatsoever from aside from a couple of names and maybe locations what are you really doing it says to dream up some other aspects of middle earth that hadn't been seen before numenor for example he concluded it's deeply rooted in the text and nobody's ever seen it before walker's comments echo how showrunner patrick mckay pitched the show back in february when promoting it to vanity fair he said the driving question behind the show is can we come up with the novel token never wrote and do it as a mega event series that can only happen now he would have never wrote this and that's what's most insulting. These people are trying to promote this as if, oh, it's the novel that Tolkien never wrote. He would have never wrote any of this. It's proven fact. Based off interviews with Tolkien, based off text from Tolkien, he would have never done this show guaranteed. And it's insulting that these people really think that he would have done it. 
Like, it's so insulting. They're just saying that to justify their actions. But let's be real. They are full of shit. We know they're full of shit. And at the end of the day, they're going to bomb because they're full of shit. And the only way they're going to be successful in any capacity is if they can convince as many normies as possible to watch this show to try to become the next Game of Thrones. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.